Fucking cameraman almost hit me in the mouth. I'm Justin Wormsley, the comedian, y'all. Make some kind of noise. Dev was right, it is dead up in here. It is dead up in here. Give me some kind of fucking energy up in here. Dev, Dev, how you doing over there, buddy? You doing all right, Dev? That was a nice song, that last song that you had was nice. I want everybody to know, this is Dev woman right here, Autumn. I still want that fucking woman. Dev, did you fuck a fart out of her yet? Hello, Dev, did you fuck a fart out of this girl yet? I said, did you fuck a fart out of this girl yet? That's all I wanted to know. That's all I wanted to know. I like that last song, though. I like that last song. Where is that fucking white boy? Him. Mr. Cameraman, look behind, <laughs> look behind you. Hey, Stan, y'all, everybody see this white boy right here? This white man right here walked up to me. This man didn't even fucking know who I was. He walked, he walked up to me, didn't even know who I was. He said, I mean this in the most respectful way possible. He said, man, you look like Nino up in here with that sweater on. I said, fuck you, man. You make me want to go home and watch that movie. Shit, so he, he, this motherfucker said I look like Nino, but don't he look like the crazy white boy, though? I want to go home and watch the fucking movie because of his ass. Keisha, the man. Don't nobody know nothing. Just don't nobody know nothing. All right, so let me get into the motherfucking set. Let me get into the set with y'all. What? Cancel who? You really do work security, man? Because you got the security beanie on. I see you earlier. You really do work security? You security in here tonight? All security got the weed. Where the weed at? I know you don't. Soldier, stop laughing, man. I know y'all was smoking. It didn't even fucking invite me. Fucking me up. Let me go ahead and get into the set because I know Stan gonna kick me up off this motherfucker. I want to, uh, I want to be judged by a room full of my peers on this one. I want to know. I want to know. I want to be judged by a room full of my peers. I want to know if this shit gonna make me a pedophile, all right? D we gonna have God stand this one out. God is outside right now smoking a cigarette on my car with no lungs. This is what I want to know. This is, this is what I know. It's young Skeet, pay attention. Pay attention. Let me ask you. Have you ever been looking like at an old yearbook? Like at an old yearbook or something and been like, damn, you know, and seeing somebody that you used to like or something, been like, damn, she was, she was cute back then. You know, she could have got it back then. Well, damn, nigga, she could get it now. Have you ever looked at the shit and been like, well, you know what? She could get it. Shit, she could have got it in that picture now. Shit, she's nine. You know what I'm saying? That shit had me fucked up. That shit had me fucked up. But no bullshit, though. You know, on the side of pedophiles, it's not like I'm on their side, but it's not like it's that fucking easy to tell. You see what I'm saying? These 14-year-olds are stacked like fucking Waffle Houses. I'm sorry. Y'all motherfuckers laughing like I'm the only one that be riding through school zones and shit. Okay, I got to go through school zones on my fucking way home, man. And it be, nigga, it be booty. It be fucking booty in these goddamn school zones. But you notice that the shit is attached to a Jansport backpack? That shit... You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, let me go ahead and take my ass home because I'll be riding. I'll be riding through the schools. I'm trying not to pay attention, but the fucking kid, I don't know what the fuck. It must be something in the talkies that they feeding the kids. You see what I'm saying? But the shit, it's, it throws you off. Smash, smash. Does that shit make me a pedophile? If I'm looking, that shit makes me a pedophile. If I'm looking at an old yearbook and see an old crush and say, okay, she could have got it. To, she could she have got it in that picture today. Does that shit make me wrong? I'm wrong for that shit? Oh, fuck you, Liz. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, I just wanted to be judged by a room full of my peers. Now, you don't think so? If It was a fucking yearbook, Liz. All right. Okay, check this out, check this out, check this out. Check this out, check this out, smash, smash, check this out. This young lady, this, this young lady that I'm talking about is a young lady that happens to have my virginity in her top dresser drawer. <laughs> I don't know why everybody, I don't know why everybody laugh when I say that shit. I never lost my virginity. I didn't lose my shit like Smash. Smash don't know where the fuck his shit at. At some fucking playground or something. Okay, I know who has my virginity. Homegirl got it in her top dresser drawer. She sent me a picture of the shit this evening. It's in the top dresser drawer right next to the panties. Glowing like a little golden orb and shit. There's my innocence right there in the motherfucking dresser. The young lady that I'm referring to in this yearbook just so happens to have my virginity. Now, does that still make me wrong? That still makes me wrong. Okay, now, what if I, what if I got her ass, what if I got her permission for this set tonight? What if I still talk to her t to this day? Yeah, I, got, I still talk to her to this day. Does, does this set make me wrong? That I was looking at her in a yearbook. Is this? Oh, fuck you, man. You the one that said I look like fucking Nino, man. I don't want to hear no more out of your ass. But that shit make me wrong, though. No. 
Now let me ask y'all something. Let me ask you something. Now what if I ask this same young lady, because I was talking to her, we, we friends, we go back and forth. You see what I'm saying? They say you never forget your first shit like that. What if I asked her, I was like, you know, would you marry my black ass in 10 years? Would you remarry? And she said, you know what, you gotta finish school first. You know what I'm saying? Because this young lady, she's been talking me through school and shit. School is fucking hard. I just started trade school for heating and air. Now, I'm going to get into it with Stan's ass. I got into it with Stan's ass earlier. I got written up in trade school. I got written up for my fucking mouth, for talking, I mean, for asking questions. But they say that I'm throwing off the fucking class. The questions that I'm asking, I don't, I don't know the fucking, what's the difference between brazing and soldering? You wouldn't know the difference unless you asked, right? They say I'm throwing they asses off. But I'm, I'm starting to figure out it may just be my frequency of voice, my tone of voice, that shit that just comes out funny. I don't mean to throw off the whole fucking class. He's sitting here talking about you disrupting the class. My man, I am five foot fucking five, been this height since fucking high school. I ain't disrupting a goddamn thing. It's not my fault when I talk, people listen. I mean, shit. So I'm going through this shit. I'm going through this with Stan earlier. I'm like, Stan, you know, I got written up, you know, in trade school today. He's like, how the fuck did you let that happen? You work with your hands. You're not supposed to be fucking talking. You see? I'm, I'm like, but I got, I be having questions and shit. So Stan actually sat me down. Supposed to be one of my fucking mentors. Stan's supposed to be one of my fucking mentors, but he sat me down, gonna fucking laugh at my ass. He laughing at me and shit. He sat me down. Stan sat me down right up here. And he said, Justin, when you get your ass in that damn school, you're not supposed to be fucking talking. All that shit talking that you're doing and the making jokes and shit, you say that shit for money plays, you say that shit for here. This way I can make some money off your black ass. Fuck you, Stan. Fuck you, all right? That's all right. Trying to make some money off my ass, but see, Stan told me what I needed to hear. So let me go ahead and get off the stage tonight saying thank you, Stan. Thank you for telling me to keep my fucking mouth shut and pay attention in school. I'm supposed to be paying and learning on my own time. Where's my host at? Where's that red ass host at? Come here. Oh, fuck you, Liz. Bring your burgundy ass up here. Thank you. Red grooves, everybody. Thank you. Hey, that's right, though. You can say what you want. This is a safe zone. Once you step off here, they got to watch your mouth. You know, we love you, Justin, because you make motherfuckers want to drink. Perfect. You know, I'm, I'm just up here to interrupt momentarily because it's somebody's birthday tonight. Where the fuck are you at? Today is his 68th birthday. <laughs> And it's, <laughs> he's got, a, he's the only motherfucker in a suit, but he looks really good though. So you know what? We're going to embarrass him and clown him and we're going to sing happy birthday to him, okay? His name happens to be Rico and he's one of our favorite customers of Money Plays. Uh, I don't know why he just is, because he has a pretty lady next to him most of the time. Here we go. Happy birthday to, what is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I'm trying to do happy birthday. On three, turn that shit down. Oh, is that Stevie Wonder's happy birthday? I can't sing like Stevie Wonder. You got me up here talking fast like Justin Wormsley. Here we go, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. His name is Rico. Happy birthday, dear Rico. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Fuck Stan. On three, everybody say fuck Stan. One, two, three. Fuck Stan. Thank you.